since last 70 years of indian independence our country enjoyed the fruits of our development but still our country is a lagging behind in some of the fields still some economic problems prevailing in economy indian economy like unemployment economic disparities illiteracy poverty or any other any other economic problem still prevailing in indian economy unequal distribution of wages or unemployment okay or economic disparities differences or unemployment or three times unemployment or or any of any of the problem which are responsible for the low economic growth in our country our country is a still developing country not became as the developed nation population this is the problem cause of poverty or administrative corruption okay or poor health of a people very good or low 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 per capita income is a result low economic growth resulted as a low per capita income income kam ho rahi hai isliye average income kam hai mostly other people are the unemployed they are the illiterate they are not physically fit they are poorers clear they are these are responsible for the low economic growth in our country so let's start from the first unemployment this is as a condition in which a person is ready to work but unable to find a job this is a capable to do work but unable to find a job this is unemployment illiteracy people are ready to sorry people are want to learn the things but due to the inadequate facilities poor conditions of our economy poor economic conditions of our families children they can't go towards as a schools poor people poverty people can't complete their basic necessities due to the low income most of the people are dependent on a land resources land resources for their completion of the needs low industrial growth low industrial growth our economy which provide as a 70% of a job opportunities based on agriculture sector more burden on agriculture sector responsible for low gdp less growth of a gdp gdp means the means not the full form what it means the so sum that is a per capita income sum of the income sum of the total income which has earned from a three sectors is a gdp primary secondary and tertiary is known as a gdp a farmer which produces as a wheat after selling of a wheat whatever the earned by the farmer that value plus use of a wheat in a bakery for manufacturing of a biscuits bread after selling of a biscuits whatever the earned by the that bakery owner their value then third tertiary sector the types of the services available by the farmer or the industrialist that baker for a manufacturing of a bread means transportation banking insurance marketing communication health hargun singh ji health so total expenditure on a these services their total submission is known as a gdp some of primary secondary and tertiary sector is known as the gdp of a country gross domestic product there when gdp divided by the total population is known as a per capita income average income our country is a lagging behind in a per capita income because the last section of a population is still dependent on a working class 15 to 59 age group less number of people are doing the work they are contributing in economy with the production of goods and services that's why the india's per capita income is a lower our country is still as the developing nation as according to the world bank india is a under developed nation due to the low per capita income but when we study about the health status education and per capita income in context of india india lies in a developing nations of a world but in a developed nations such kinds of the problems are not existing problems unemployment poverty are not existing these governments are the self reliant to feed their population as free of cost if a person is not doing the work in a 
Canada, America, Russia, in these countries, government having the resources to feed them as free of cost. But our country, government, it can't avail. Our present economy, as for the needs of our people, the resources are not fully developed. This is the root cause responsible for the poverty in India. Poverty is a situation in which a person unable to complete their basic necessities. When such poverty has lies in a larger section of population known as a mass poverty. Clear? Poverty has their two forms, two types, relative poverty and absolute poverty. Relative poverty, when we study the economic conditions of a country, of a region, of a continent in relation to the per capita income and national income is known as a relative poverty. Any questions still there? Any questions? Last boy, am I audible to you? Last boy, Pragun Sapra and Hasimran Singh. Any questions? Relative poverty, when we study about the economic conditions of a country in relation to in relation to the regions, sorry, in relation to the per capita income and national income. Economic conditions of a different countries, continents, and regions in relation to the per capita income and national income is known as the relative poverty. For example, a per cap, yes, Asamran, any question? Asamran Singh Ji, any question? Per capita income is the average income, average income earned by the individuals within as a country. Total income earned from the three sectors divided by the total population is known as a per capita income. National income is a total income earned from a three sectors plus income earned from abroad is known as national income. Clear? When we study about the different countries of the world in relation to per capita income or national income is known as a relative poverty. For example, World Bank divided world economies into the three categories, developed nations, developing nations, underdeveloped nations. Developed nations are those which are possessed as a per capita income 4,35,500. These are developed nations, Canada, America, per capita income, average person earned this much of an income as annually. India has possessed as the 27,000 approximately the per capita income. As according to this, India lies in the underdeveloped nations, those nations which possess 35,500 or less than of its income, these are the underdeveloped nations. India lies under it according to the World Bank. And developing nations are those which are having as a 35,500 to 4,35,500 as national income, sorry, per capita income. They are the developing nations. But when we use only as a one criteria per capita income, then it will be lights India in the underdeveloped nations. But when we study about the health standard, education in our country with relation to the per capita income, then India has lights under the developing nations because after the independence, health facilities improved Hargun Singh Ji health facilities, death rate control in our country. Still people are. This concept in which as a economic per capita income plus health and, uh, health and education indicators are used. This was given by the HDI, Human Development Index Report. Human Development Index Report. Clear, relative poverty. Any questions? Absolute poverty. When we study about the HDI, Human Development Index report given as a concept of a health, education, and per capita income on which world countries are categorized, as according to which India has lies under the de developing nations. World Bank said India is underdeveloped because of a per capita income on behalf of the health status and improving education facilities. With relation to the per capita income, India is lies under the developing nations. India is a developing country which has improving their conditions. The existence of a poverty in our country at the time of independence, which was more than a 50%, which now has a less than a 30% remaining. It shows as the developing nation. Our country is improving their standards. A large number of the workforce which earlier moved towards as a other countries for jobs, that country which faced as a severe critical condition of a food scarcity, food scarcity with growth of a agriculture 
makes possibilities for a production of a food crops and india is a self reliant in a food production in a world market next is absolute poverty when we study about the poverty of a country economic conditions of a country in relation to the per capita caloric consumption per capita the minimum caloric consumption required by a person in a rural area as a 2400 kilometers because of the manual work mostly as engaged by the people and second as a urban areas people require 2100 calories in a day so those which which are unable to complete their such minimum caloric consumptions they are considered as a below poverty they are known as a bpls clear bpls below poverty line as according to the planning commission those which those individuals which are spent 32 rupees in a day they are considered as a apls above poverty line which are unable to afford as a 32 rupees in a day these are the bpl families clear per individual as a 32 rupees planning commission according to the world bank a person which is spending as a 1 dollar in a day is considered as a apl above poverty line which can satisfy their three basic necessities food shelter and the clothing any question still there yes any questions nobody next poverty is a study in relation to the poverty line estimation of a poverty line poverty line is a minimum such requirements which are required by a person to satisfy their needs poverty line is used as a criteria to study about the trends of a poverty in our country so for which as a two methods are used expenditure method and income method expenditure method total expenditure total money spent by a person for completion of their three basic necessities food shelter and clothing for first expenditure method a person what type of the food items they are use in their daily life we have to make as their series or a table assess them then what uh, how many number of sorry how many number of calories are complete to the such food items and how much money spent on a such food items we have to calculate it second as a total expenditure on a clothing and a rented apartments their summation is known as the method to calculate as a expenditure method used for a estimation of poverty in our country total expenditure spent by the individuals for satisfying for satisfying their food shelter and the clothing three basic necessities second as the income method in this method as according to this those which are earn as the which are the daily wage workers casual workers which are not having as a regular source of income they are considered under the below poverty below poverty because in a abnormal conditions disastrous conditions or a rainy seasons they are not having as a regular source of income mostly the vulnerable groups sc sc communities socially marginalized groups economically backward sections are highly affected by the poverty which are not having the regular source of income those which are not having the regular source of income these are the mostly as affected by the poverty for which in our country as a minimum income minimum income earned by the individual through the daily wage workers by the daily wage workers as the which has which has enforced by the minimum wages act as according to this a person which has earned as 428 rupees in a urban areas this is as a casual worker which has lies under the poverty because throughout the year they are not having as a regular source of income for providing them the jobs government of india has targeted them to the programs different policies programs they are introduced for targeted to such economically marginalized marginalized sections through which they can solve as a problem of a poverty in their society till there are any questions nobody a relative poverty nobody what is absolute poverty relative poverty is economic conditions of a country in which we study about the regions or a country's continents in relation to per capita income and national income what is absolute poverty when we study about the economic ha ji said down when we study the economic conditions of a country in relation to the per capita caloric consumption 
how much total number of our calories are desired by a person for a healthy life in a rural areas wake up nobody in rural areas sorry 2400 calories in rural areas 2100 calories in urban area sit down next cause is responsible for the poverty in our country cause is responsible for poverty in india first illiteracy those which are illiterate not having as a regular jobs they are highly affected by the poverty in our country second uh, daily wage workers british rule in british rule different policies introduced by the britishers they adversely impact over indian economy specifically as a land revenue systems they deprived as economic standard of our farmers those farmers which earlier known as a land owners became as a landless laborers they find a british rule mein main usi mein keh raha hu land revenue systems makes the deprived the standard of those farmers earlier were the land owners they became as a landless farmers landless laborers second the commercialization of agriculture makes the profitable work for a britishers and the adverse impact over the indian economy to which the fertility of a land decrease those farmers earlier produce as a subsistence crops now they became as a tenants third de industrialization british rule de industrialization policies in, in which britishers exported the raw material towards england raw materials towards england which deprived the economic standard of such poor weavers in india they lost their job they find a jobs in a industries but afterwards the reindustrialization the britishers they started as a process of location of industries in our country british rule adversely impact over indian economy third unemployment a state in which a person ready to work but unable to find a job in our country there are two severe critical type of the unemployments are lies aap kuch keh rahe the unemployments are lies disguised unemployment and seasonal unemployment your roll number good job 30 demands as compared to their demands disguised unemployed are lies in a which sector of indian economy standing voters disguised unemployed lies in a which sector of indian economy very good sit down primary sector aap bhi baitho extra burden what is as a bad impact of a hidden unemployment disguised unemployment over the economy what is the impact of a disguised unemployed on economy yes hasamra singh ji what is the impact of disguised unemployed in economy hum keh rahe hain disguised unemployed agriculture mein milte hain aap keh rahe hain less industries yes low per capita income those which are not having as a jobs in other sectors they are dependent on a land resource which leads as a decrease in a per capita income sit down now this much for today rest on tomorrow